Next up, handle the situation, handle it. Angry wife gets husband to stab and disembowel pizza worker over botched order. Ah, look at them kids, the lovers. A match made on the short bus. Every night I gotta fight to prove my love. It's pizza, who cares? It's Virginia pizza, who really cares? And if you pay attention to the huge words written on the sign over the entrance, it says super fast. What did you think they were doing back there paying attention to your order a woman in virginia you're playing around in a commonwealth state upset over a botched pizza order got her husband to allegedly stab and disembowel a worker who was arguing with her about it according to police is it really possible to mess up a pizza in a way that you can't fix it within a couple minutes or just make a whole new pizza within 10 minutes handle the situation said Catherine Harper 45 grown ass woman in a phone call with her husband Corey Harper 47 grown ass man after she got into an argument with a 20 four-year-old employee at the fast casual pizza chain mob pizza it's pizza who cares you're calling your husband like you're laying a mob hit court documents obtained by the local nbc affiliate wavy wavy describe the midday attack in graphic detail with it allegedly being over a botched order from the seattle-based pizza joint there's so much wrong here i'm like a kid in a candy store first off handle the situation doesn't necessarily mean come in and gut someone like a fish second of all they're both idiots two dead batteries can't start a car the husband more so because coming in he had a chance to relieve his wife in a position where she was clearly agitated and handling it poorly had a chance to de-escalate the tension between the employee on the other side of the counter and probably walk away with a corrected order with enough time for them to finish their day and put this far behind them but a Oh, no, he had to come in and make things 100 times worse than they really were. Case records show Corey Harper is facing felony charges of malicious wounding and brandishing a firearm. You bought a gun and a knife big enough to gut someone over pizza while his wife is charged with conspiracy to commit malicious wounding. I got something to say about that, too. Give me a second. The two of them are due to appear in court again on January 14th. We were dismayed to learn about an argument inside our North folk area lake right restaurant involving one of our employees and two guests the chain said the altercation resulted in one of our mod squad members being hospitalized and the arrest of one of the guests only one please understand this is an active investigation and we are cooperating with the local police while our team member recuperates in the hospital we are conducting our due diligence and will make a well thought out decision about this situation mod pizza has zero tolerance for behavior that escalates conflict whether initiated by a guest or a team member. Mod officials say they're fully cooperating with the Norfolk Police Department in its investigation, and their top priority is creating a fun and inspiring place to work and a great place to eat and wake up the bloodshed, but none of that says anything about making better pizza. If you have a spouse or a partner and you know 110% it's a fact that they do not play about you, all it takes is a phone call or a text message and they will come in and clear something out they will physically harm someone for you then this is a terrible situation to put them in over an altercation stemming from pizza there you have it kids Corey and Catherine Harper tell me what you think